many questions uh, came to me about uh, when it is allowed uh, for a woman to ask for a divorce. She's even allowed to ask for a divorce. The answer for this, yes, she is allowed to ask for a divorce. And if you say, what about the hadith uh, where the Prophet ﷺ said, أيما امرأة سألت الطلاق من زوجها من غير بأس فقد حرم الله عليها رائحة الجنة Any woman that asks her husband for a divorce for no good reason um, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbade her from smelling the fragrance of paradise uh, This hadith, uh, yes it is authentic it's in uh, Sunan Abi Dawood and others uh, but uh, we have also more authentic hadith or uh, much stronger hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari where uh, uh, a woman, she came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and she asked him to, for uh, a divorce from her husband. And uh, her husband, uh, uh, she said, La aibu alayhi shay fi deeni wa khuluqi. Uh, I don't have anything against his deen or his manners. لكني أكره الكفراء في الإسلام. I don't think I, I don't want to make the or do the action of the kufar while a Muslim. And she meant by that I cannot fulfill his rights. And in one of the narrations, she said, uh, in one narration, said that he was very ugly. And and she said because I fear Allah, I would have يعني uh, threw up or spit on his face because he's very very ugly, unattractive at all. In so many narrations, she explained that to the Prophet Wasallam. So the Prophet Wasallam simply didn't say, hey, haram alayk is not allowed to get divorced. You know what's your punishment, the day of judgment, as some husbands and some in-laws do or some family member do. You know, she said, I just can't be married to this man. So the Prophet said, give him back his hadiqa, give him back his ma'ar and just get divorced. Uh, so from this hadith, al-ulama rahimahullah, and the first hadith came to the following conclusions. They said it is permissible for a woman to ask for a divorce or she initiated the divorce in this case and we call it khul in the following cases. Uh, number one, if uh, the man is abusing her and when we can talk about abuse, I'm talking about physical abuse, I'm talking about emotional abuse, all kind of uh, even sexual abuse uh, uh, and any form of abuse to the woman, it is a, a valid ground for her to ask for divorce. Uh, number two, if uh, the person do not fulfill her rights, he doesn't give her the money, he doesn't fulfill his right to her as a husband, uh, when it comes to intimacy and things like that, she has the right to ask for divorce. Uh, number three, if the person is doing uh, evil things and, and haram things, like she found it, he, he's ga he, he gamble and uh, he doesn't pray, uh, he drinks uh, uh, alcohol, he uses drugs and, and, uh, and things of this nature. So in this case, she has a valid reason to ask for uh, divorce or she can uh, give khul, uh, ask for khul. Uh, number four, if she basically not attractive to him at all, completely like this uh, woman, who was not attractive to the person and uh, uh, she could not maintain the, the relationship. In this case also, she is allowed to ask for divorce. What the hadith, the first hadith is talking about that a woman uh, will not uh, smell the fragrance of dinner if she asks for a divorce. This hadith is talking about a woman has no valid reason or no any reason for her. She just, the waqatul rijal. She just want to try men. She married this guy for a while. You know, let me change him. Let me look for another guy. Let me see that other guy. Um, if a woman like that, this is haram and that's not allowed because that means you're using the religion to fulfill your own haram lust and, uh, and, and, and haram desire. Uh, and instead of just making zina, you're just doing that and you call it marriage. And you have every intention not to, to, to make this marriage continue. So I hope this will explain to us uh, when it is allowed for a woman to ask for a divorce. But if, even though these are the ground for it, I want to advise every sister not to rush for asking divorce. You know, uh, take your time, try counseling. Uh, uh, pray istikhara, uh, do a lot of uh, uh, istishara, and I mean by that counseling and asking for advice, talk to your family, talk to his family, you know, let the family try, bring a peacemaker between both of you before you come to this conclusion to break the relationship. And in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, 
وكسرها طلاقها what breaks the relationship is the divorce may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us and give us happy life